Create yourself a new world, big or small, but make it beautiful. The Property Show brings you beautiful spaces, exquisite construction ideas, easy style interior designing, and we bring you up to date with the industry. It's fresh, it's inspiring, it's The Property Show. Now showing on The Property Show. Proudly sponsored by Roofings. Welcome to the Property Show once again for this week's edition. My name is Edwin Musime, where we make sense of the real estate industry. And just to let you know, around the corner, of course, equally, the Property Show magazine is out on the market. You need to go to some of the uh, book outlet, bookshop outlets. Uh, that will include, uh, of course, the commonly one, uh, common ones that are known, but equal as well as at the Serena Bookshop. You'll be able to find the Property Show magazine, or you can actually order through our website, and we'll be able to ensure that you get a copy. Special thanks to Roofings Group. Uh, our official sponsors of the property show with some of uh, uh, some amazing products that actually would inspire you to even enjoy the construction process along uh, the way so visit any of the uh, outlets of roofings group and you will be sorted and catered for and of course uh, nina interiors strangely i know that leather is beautiful but i tell you something that's in vogue currently like the chairs that I'm sitting in right now, fabrics. And Inner Interiors has just brought in some of the finest fabrics that you can fabric that you can think about. So visit the showroom at Nina Interiors, and you're going to find some amazing, amazing uh, products. And of course, special thanks to all our other partners: Regis, uh, Lamudi, Uganda, Serena Hotels, and of course uh, Lamudi, uh, sorry, Liquid Telecom. Uh, that's Infocom, our internet providers at the Property Show. Thank you so much, and to all of you, our viewers, we treasure you hundred percent. Let's take a look at what we have lined up for you in today's edition of The Property Show. Today on The Property Show. segment that you love whereby they get to help you choose what you want to put in your living room, your bedroom, your kitchen, your bathroom, mentioning everything. She gets to give you what to do with your property. Interior designing tips of the week. But before we go into interior designing tips of the week, we have a dream home. Up next is my dream home, followed by interior designing tips of the week. Hello there, it's Bethel again with your interior designing tips. Today I'm here to talk to you about wine bottles. I know Christmas is done and then there are so many wine bottles lying around in these different beautiful designs and your question is what should I use them for? Good news is you don't have to actually leave them lying around there. You can actually use them to make artifacts. The first way you can design them is by painting them. All you need is a couple of bottles, paint and a few paint brushes. You can do zebra crossing, stripes, polka dots, anything that you want. You can actually make beautiful artifacts out of this. The second way you can actually design these bottles is using thread. You gently apply glue onto the thread and then apply the thread onto the bottles. But keep in mind that all the colors used should be according to your color skin, be it in your corridor, your sitting room. And then there you are, ready to decorate your sitting room or your corridor with your self-made artifacts and ready to intrigue visitors. Thank you. Quickly! Mom's coming! Cover it! Aha! Gundinawe, is that any way to cover? When you have to cover something, cover it the right way. Only Roofing's Iron Sheets have double coating that give them a much longer life and are made with Japanese technology for best quality right here in Uganda. With Roofing's Iron Sheets, we've got you covered. Roofing's Strength of a Nation. 
that's still to come. First of all, tax is something that's very important for every country to grow. It's the bloodline for every country. They may look to be a little bit expensive, maybe out of your budget, but that's not the case. The property of the week is here to inspire you. It is here to actually give you a little bit of hope, something to do with your house. Maybe you can choose a few tips from the property of the week and you can actually incorporate them in your own home. Up next is the property of the week brought to you by Nina Interiors, the only place you can get the best furniture in town. Looking for a real furniture feel? At Nina Interiors, we have a marvellous collection of quality and comfort furniture designs that will suit your furnishing needs perfectly and leave a mark of excellence on your home. Enjoy our special deals on dining sets, masterpieces for the living room, office furniture and exquisite curtains. So why not come down to Nina Interiors showroom on Ginger Road because it's all you've envisioned and more. This week we look at the 17 apartment hotel in Kololo, high up on one of the seven spectacular landscapes of Kampala, where privacy is as valuable as the stunning views. With brilliant chintz, snappy furnishings and heirlooms galore, the 17 hotel apartments are a masterpiece in the making. The proportions, the scale and the absolute purity of this property give it a rightful place on the list of luxury apartments in Kampala. The 17 Apartment Hotel has an exciting interior design scheme, bringing sophisticated style to these residential apartments, which have been designed to offer a more contemporary form of living in Uganda. Additionally, there are four multi-purpose roof terraces with panoramic views overlooking the city centre and some significant residential areas, as well as Lake Victoria. Employing a subtle white palette, these apartments have been transformed into a singularly refreshing and breathtaking oasis. These structures were not only built with character and craftsmanship, but style. The Bird's Eye, brought to you by Roofings. The Bird's Eye was brought to you by Roofings. Roofings, strength of a nation. It is the property talk on the property show. Now, first and foremost, we want to let all of you, our viewers, know starting the month of February, we are going to begin theming all our months. So, kindly notify us which topics you want us to deal with. Is it financing on real estate? Is it um, uh, landscaping? Is it interior designing? Is it pro any forms of property acquisitions? Whatever it is. Joining us on the set this week is uh, now Mr. Slaji Kanyesige, 
Kanye CJ is the Assistant Commissioner Compliance Management, Domestic Taxes Department. It's good to have you on the show today. Thank you. It's nice being here too. The first problem that we have at the property show is property investors, property developers, people failing to acquire properties because properties are expensive. We then later found out, ah, no, the tax person has brought the problem because roofings, uh, Seroma, Hima Cement cannot supply at good low prices because the tax person has put a tough news on their necks. Mm -hmm. And before we know it, the same tax person now has introduced the property tax. The taxes are killing us. Mrs. Sludge, please give us an explanation. Okay. Mm. Thank you so much for inviting <coughs> me on this show. Uh, uh, nice having you viewers uh, on, this, on this show. First of all, tax is something that's very important for every country mm. to grow. Mm. It's the bloodline for every country. And uh, if you are to be proud of your country, you need to be paying that tax. Mm. Uh, putting into perspective for the property uh, investment uh, people and uh, anybody who is in there, if you have a rental property, you're supposed to pay tax like any other business person because you have income and you pay. Uh, if you don't, we look out for you. Okay, let's start from that point. I have a property, one, two apartments in uh, Sebunga. Exactly. My tenants pay me 500,000, receive my money, pay school fees for my children, and that's it. So what is this law saying that if they've been giving me 500,000, what do I have to pay? To who do I pay it? Now, if you have a property, say in Bunga, as you put mm -hmm. it, and you are receiving 500,000, mm -hmm. we look at your annual gross collections. Mm -hmm. In a year, that would be 6 million shillings. Mm -hmm. Out of that money, if you are receiving it as an individual, you know, we have a person yes. who is a, a corporate body, an individual, the government gives you 2,920,000 that is not taxed free. Mm -hmm. Number two, 20% of that money that you receive is given to you as a maintenance expense for that property. Mm -hmm. The balance that remains, you pay tax at the rate of 20%, called rental income tax. Let's go back to phase one. Yes. Number one, you said? Number one, you're receiving 500,000 per month. Yes. So on an annual basis, you receive six million. Six million. Mm -hmm. Out of that money, 20% mm. the government leaves it to you, f to you for maintaining the property. Out of the six million? Out of the six million. The government leaves you with 2,920,000. Mm -hmm. uh, it is a threshold on which no tax is collected. Okay. But under what basis is that computed? Because now we're dealing with six million. If it was 20 million, is it still the same? It's still the same. Okay. It's still the same. It's a start. So that leaves us with... Uh, with around one point, um, almost one million. Yes. Now the one million shilling that's remaining, 20%. you pay tax of 20%, which is around 200,000 shilling. But Mr. Siraj, property developers, property owners out there do not know these things. Uh, we try as much as possible to educate yes. and I want to thank the organizers of this show for making this time so that we can explain to yes. them. But also we have offices that are available countrywide. And people need to know that every investment you do, government is a silent shareholder because every income you earn the government needs its share yes. to deliver those core services that can't be delivered by me and you yes. individually yes. security the <coughs> infrastructure the roads because even if you have a very good mansion somewhere where insecurity is doing bad you never get a tenant yes. but if government has provided that core uh, service then you can attract the best and charge the best rate that you need mm. so it's important that we contribute towards that if you just joined us on the show today, we're dealing with a very pertinent subject. We're dealing with the issue of taxes in relation to property real estate. If you have any questions, any queries, please forward them on the addresses on the screen. Let us know. We'll channel them to the right person. Now, uh, Mrs. Raj, we have another key issue. The difference between property and rental taxes. Is there a difference actually? And yes. what is the difference? Yes, there is a difference. First of all, they are... Property tax and rent tax are from two different laws. Mm -hmm. Rental income tax is part of the Income Tax Act. It is a tax paid on profit made in the, on the investment. By the way, talking about this tax, does it apply both to commercial real estate and, uh, and residential real estate? Yes, it does. Same ratings? Same rating. Okay. Only that for the company, the rate is slightly different. Okay. Now, property tax is collected by local governments. KCCA... Chira Town Council, uh, Jinja Municipal Council, for the services that are provided by the local authorities. Yes. The beauty is that now, like in Kampara, 
we are working together, KCCA, Uganda Revenue Authority, and Uganda Registration Services Bureau, that once you visit any of our offices, you can be served with both. You will be given the assessment once for property tax and rental tax. Mm. Right now, if you go to Kawempe, we have our URS staff there, URSB people are there, and the KCCA people are there. Okay. You go to Diamond Trust, we have an office downtown uh, in a former Ponye Hotel building. Mm. Rental income tax is for the central government to provide those services from yes. the central government perspective. <coughs> yes. Property tax is for the local government to pay for the security lights, mm. to pay for the number of things that they yes. do for, for us within our, the, 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 the locality. Yes. From your experiences, what are some of the most misunderstood issues that the people out there actually have that you'd want to touch on before I let you off? Now, the m most things that people f don't comprehend so much is one, they don't know that rental income is part of the income that is charged to tax. Once they receive the money, tax payment is not a priority. It's until a URA person has come and say, hey, you earned this money. Secondly, People have not known that if um, you are renting out a building as commercial, a commercial building, there is an additional tax that comes in there that's called VAT mm. that you must charge your client and remit to URA. It is actually better if you are registered for VAT because the cost of maintaining your building and doing your business become lower because the VAT input, the VAT you incur on your expenses, you claim it back from the government. Mr. Sraj, there's, there's also been a problem with VAT because URA constantly tells us not everybody is eligible for VAT. There's that, also, there's that problem also. I think what people need to know is that VAT is paid by me and you, the final consumer. Those who are registered for VAT are just agents of government. Mm. Once we say you are not eligible for VAT, it means you are Maybe the turnover threshold of the money you collect mm. is less than 150 million a year. As a property owner, how do I get to charge for it if I'm not registered? And, and, uh, At that point, you're not supposed to charge, charge for it. But you can decide to register voluntarily if you think you're going to benefit out of it. As we get to conclude this discussion, uh, what are the key things? By the way, what are the consequences if I'm actually not complying on some of these? Uh, the consequences are quite many. The first one is that once we get to know we can raise an assessment on you with penalties and the enforcement can range from attaching your bank accounts. We can even put a caveat on your property, you can't transact with it, you can't get a loan on it or anything. And where things go bad that you can find there was fraud, you can be prosecuted. Those are the consequences. The final word is that Uganda is our country, there's nobody who built it for us. We can only build it if we are paying the right tax at the right time. Please engage us. Check our website, ura.go.ug, to get much more information. Right now, you can even pay using mobile money. We continuously appreciate the great work you're doing for this nation. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you so much. Thank you so and much. This conversation, we hope one day will continue again. Definitely. Thank you. Thank you so much. The Intellects, one of the largest and most ambitious residential developments in Singapore presents a radically new approach to contemporary living in a tropical environment. Designed by Oli Sharon, partner of OMA, the Intellis adopts a new residential typology which breaks away from the standard isolated vertical apartment towers of Singapore. The large-scale complex takes a more expansive and interconnected approach to living through communal spaces which are integrated into lush surrounding green belts. 31 apartment blocks, each standing at six stories tall and identical in length, are stacked in a hexagonal arrangement to form eight large open and permeable courtyards. The design capitalizes on the generous size of the site, which stretches between Singapore's Kent Ridge, Telok Balonga Hill, and Mount Faber Pass. Connected with the Gilman Village residents, can enjoy nature trails and restaurants which are within walking distance. Each of the eight courtyards have an individual landscape identity defined within the heart of the project, forming various focal points and orienting devices for the surrounding residential blocks. The primary route through the project leads residents from the main entrance to the courtyard. According to the Straight Times, Festival director Paul Finch said the judges were impressed by its bold contemporary architecture and thinking. 
Indeed, depending on where and how one sees it, interlace is a study in shifting perspectives. Within the building, there are many views on offer, meaning one could conceivably visit two homes in different parts of the building and be treated to entirely different perspectives. Literally, the end result is a building that excites but also confounds. No wonder it had to win itself an award. All you have to do is type www.propertyshow1.com. I'll say it again, www.propertyshow1.com. Yes, it is the listings, the only place you can get all the beautiful listings in town. Up next is the Property Scan, thanks to our content partners, Lemudi, the Property Scan. And we've come to the end of this week's edition of the Property Show. Just to remind you that uh, uh, the first week of May, all roads lead to the UAP Business Park Nakawa, where the second, uh, third edition of the Property Show Expo will be taking place. We're expecting over 10,000 visitors. So uh, if you're a property developer or in landscaping, interior designing, name it. You want to get in touch with us and find out how you can acquire yourself some uh, exhibition space while it still is uh, available. And we just want to appreciate all our partners, of course, Roofing's Group, our official sponsors, uh, Nina Interiors and all the other partners. Thank you so much for making The Property Show your number one choice brand as an informative, entertaining, educative uh, show. And are you following us on Facebook yet? Please get onto our Facebook page and join an ever huge growing family across uh, East Africa and the world at large. On behalf of the technical crew and the production team, adios amigos. Next week on The Property Show.
Another summer day has come and gone away in Paris and Rome, but I want to go home. 